Hello, I invite you to the presentation of Hiplock Z-Lock Combo, a bicycle security tie which is available in two options, just like mine with a 3-digit code and cheaper open with a special key. Z-Lock is basically a plastic tie only with a steel core. It weighs only 69 grams, is 11 mm wide and 43 cm long, thanks to which it can secure two bikes. If it's not enough and you need something longer, hip locks can be connected to increase their length. Thanks to their flexibility and small size, they fit in a regular pocket. You can attach them to the saddle rail or tie them to the frame, so you can always have them with you. Individual code can be set at any time and it only takes a few seconds. When it's open, just press with a pen the small side button near the lock, choose your own combination and move the slider. Probably you are curious about Hiplock's resistance to force attack. Do not expect miracles and I will not check it either. But if you want to see it, you will find such a videos on YouTube. I think that in case of bicycle locks, the weight is very often adequate value to the resistance. So I recommend Hiplock only, really I mean it, only if you want to leave your bike just for a second. If you need something more solid and still relatively light, check out Abu 6055 Mini, about which the video is already on my channel. You can find a link to it in the upper right corner and in the description, and soon a comparison of all folding Abus models. In my opinion, the safest option is a set of hip lock and Abus, or a couple of hip locks. The more locks you put on your bike, the longer Tiff will have to fight with them, so the risk of being caught will be bigger. Another advantage of hip lock is that you can use it to protect your suitcase, skis, helmet, backpack or a bike when you transport it on a car roof rack. Thanks for watching, if you have any questions feel free to write in the comments and if you like the video drop a like and subscribe my channel where I publish new movies every Monday and Thursday. See ya!